way, start the race. This sort of competition and the last six months of excitement and preparation and design and testing of all the gear uh, that has led up to today, all of that training, it makes them a better student at school, of course. The, the looks on some of the kids' face when they first got to see and touch um, an electrolyzer and to actually tell people, we've got people in Gladstone who have made hydrogen. Being part of this means that they use project management, it means that they have engineering skills, it means they have to work as a team to get a result. Developing the skills in our future workforce that focus on STEM, innovation, technology, teamwork and collaboration. Being involved in this at the moment is something to make young guys switch that brain and do better things to become leaders of the future. Cool, thank you. Thank you. And they've done a phenomenal job in multi-skilling, multitasking, supporting each other. When they need help, they jump in to help them. And I think yet again, we're seeing that demonstration today where they're leading the group, not just because of what they put into the car, but what they put into each other. So all the skills that we've seen from the kids here today will be highly critical to the new energy transformation. We've had innovation, we've had problem solving, we've seen people work together as teams. All of these will be highly transferable skills that the next generation we will need desperately for the new energy transition. We would say definitely get involved if there's one in running in a local community. Uh, at AMA we see that as a license to operate, a social license. So you know, without these sort of programs and not giving, you know, and giving back to the uh, local students, they're going to be our future leaders. But this is for our young people now for their future. It not only will help them for their careers, but it also makes them a good, strong, uh, minded community persons. <laughs>